Hi, this is just some early ideation. Uh, the, the product management and product design team for um, the new forms to protect and um, the on-demand uh, DAS team is collaborating on creating a new MVC policy. Um, so policies are currently in uh, threat monitoring. And the current UX is in security and compliance and threat monitoring. And these only relate to container network um, security. So these are actual policies for container network security. And if you want to edit them, you can, um, or see more details about them, you can open up the side drawer here, and then you can create a new policy. From here, it's a sort of conditional statement, but also the ability to direct, directly do it in the YAML node. So this is the current UX. What this, is, this epic is about is actually the MVC to add a another policy, and that policy would be a recurring DAST on-demand scan. What makes it a policy is the recurring aspect of it. If it's just a one-time scan, that's not considered a policy. Even if it's a one-time scheduled scan, that's not a policy. But since it's recurring, that's what in this MVC we're, we're con considering it as a policy. In future MVCs, there may be um, same the ability to schedule uh, other scanners, but for this one, it's just focusing on DAST and making it a recurring one. Okay, so thinking through um, some of the changes that would, this would be, some of the questions around it uh, across the teams that I have for uh, the DAST team, Annabelle and Derek, uh, just to think about. Um, this is again, just focused on some ideation and, and some changes that would result in, in this MVC. One would be information architecture. Here's the current one that we see today. I just wanna point out a related one in issue 215635, um, which actually merges the dependency list and license compliance list. So it just sort of tightens up that area. There's a discussion that's ongoing with that. Um, somewhat related, uh, only also because license compliance also has a policy section. So there may be that aspect that eventually merges into um, the protect policies, um, future MVCs. Okay, let's say that doesn't happen or it happens later or whatnot. Just looking at the current um, information architecture, this would, some of the changes we're making here would result in a new policy section here under security and compliance. And that would look like this, very similar to what we saw in the prototype. Um, and this was just showing these type of uh, policies that relate to network policy. If we were to add DAST, it act, adds a new type section here. Um, some of the things that we'll have to think about is what's the name for these uh, recurring policies? What is the current inputs that users have? Um, what would be the most appropriate one? Some of the columns may not work, like environment may not uh, be relevant for that, or it, there may be another relevant data point there for that, like uh, what the pro what um, URL the, the profile is targeting. I'm not sure if it would go under that and then how status is. So as we grow these policies and as we merge different um, like network policies and then adding the ability to schedule scans, uh, we'll just have to think about how these columns, like the data that we're showing to identify these policies, how it scales. Um, because as we add new things, there may be areas like this environment one where maybe it doesn't scale so well or, or it's relevant for one rule and not relevant for another. Um, so the questions I have here is for DAS screen is what might be most appropriate for the naming convention for um, the task policies. And I'm sorry, this shouldn't be showing overview here. That's that's just a mistake quickly building this out. But some other questions too is that the, as we saw in the prototype, there was, um, when you look at policies, there's a flyout drawer that gives you some summary details. If we were to follow that same pattern here is, what are the key details that we would need for the profile of the recurring views? Um, so it's just taking a look at what the current edit page looks like on, on demand and uh, bring that into to this. And um, it, it may, may require linking to a dedicated page, but 
Um, just listing out some of those details would be helpful for that to know what's next. In terms of the actual creation, so just going back here, it's like the user creating new policy like they do today, except in this case, they'll have the ability to select from runtime container policy or scan schedule policy. That's the one that we're focusing on for this MVC. If they chose that one, then we just need to identify what are the key inputs that they need. There's two different directions here. There may be um, an already existing profile, so somewhere we can identify that and then create the rule. Um, and but but I think the other the other scenario would be if um, they need to create a new profile. Could, is that something that we could handle right here in, in this screen by those inputs, by kind of leveraging the same creation process that is seen in on-demand to create that profile? Or do we need to bring in uh, another uh, modal overlay to make that creation? I'm not sure. I, I want to just go back and focus on what those uh, required inputs are, and then we can come back to the UI elements. But just wanted to point these out as uh, kind of some ideation around it. And then also with the creation process, I think that um, the main thing to focus on now is just the actual conditional statement. So um, going back to the prototype here for a second is um, we have the conditional statement for uh, runtime container policies and it, it goes like this, if this, then this. Um, so looking at scheduled scans, and this is just the prototype, it, it's not, um, uh, the suggested one, but just to get an idea for how it works, it's like schedule the br uh, branch environment to be scheduled then, and then um, down here you can select DAS. Well, that that doesn't really, it's, it won't work so well because each scanner may require different um, sort of conditional rules. So just looking at it like this in, in this way, I, I think can help us identify that first sentence we have. So I grayed out the parts that are not part of this MVC and um, and these could be, this could be the first selection. And so the only selections here, since this would be the only new rule that's there for the scheduled scan is schedule, DAS, and then profile name. This could be the area where we get that input from the user. Now we'll have to think of, once we get to the user interface, we'll have to think about the flow to create a new one if a profile doesn't exist. That's going back to maybe that modal or whatnot. I'm not sure if that's the right one, but just, just kind of focus on um, the conditional rules. So schedule, DAST, profile name, to be scanned, and then weekly, daily, hourly. Um, the questions here is maybe for the MVC is, what is our introduction MVC? Um, wh which one makes most sense? Do we need to cut this down? Do Should we just have schedule, DAS, then the only input is profile name to be scanned weekly? or where are we on capabilities for um, the scheduling and recurring of it? Um, could be a question for the DAS team, but also a question for, for Sam or kind of a question for all of us on, on how we want to do that and what's within the scope here. Um, like I said, these ones that are grayed out kind of just show uh, later iterations. So a license scanning could have a similar pattern um, but the inputs may be different. Um, for example, one that comes to mind is container scanning. The inputs in not wouldn't be profile name, but maybe it could be what image, what um, container image that it's to target. Maybe all of them. There could be cases of multiple uh, images just to show. So I would say that this would be the key focus, and then we can go back to the UI and um, take a closer look at that. Okay, then the fifth aspect uh, of focusing on is, and maybe we can adopt the pattern that's in existence for on-demand scans, is how are we displaying the results when they're when they're um, when the scheduled scan has done? So since there's a recurring one, let's say it's weekly, you know, we'd want to show log of those weekly recurring ones and what is sort of the audit trail or what where can the results be seen? I understand that I. I think that it goes view results now, and then they can go to the pipeline page. Um, so it's just adopting that pattern. And then I'm just showing the details page here again. Maybe this is where we're showing the log. 
because if it's recurring, what if they want to go to the one that was three weeks ago, if it was weekly, for example. Um, so just some thoughts around uh, that in the UI. Um, and we can probably just, uh, you know, adopt what and where those results are being shown currently for the on-demand dash scans. Okay, so that um, that is the rundown. That's where the ideation is so far. And uh, this is just the head of any uh, synced meetings. Okay, thanks.